Wasbir can today's incident be termed as a police high-headedness, Wasbir? And we also have with us Lucky Boy Singh from Imphal. Well, yes, uh, Priya, this is a clear case of police high-handedness uh, because these are internally displaced people. Remember, there are 59,000 internally displaced people in Manipur today. This is the figure given by none other than Chief Minister Bidin Singh in the uh, floor of the House, floor of the State Assembly yesterday uh, when the budget was presented. 59,000 internally displaced people in Manipur is a huge number. Now, there, there, there has been obviously these internally displaced people whether they are cookies or whether they are metes and in this case today's protest was carried out by IDPs in Imphal that means obviously these IDPs are metes and they are obviously unhappy with the arrangements uh, at their, in their makeshift relief camps they are worried about their future they are worried about their uncertain conditions uncertain way of life this has also raised questions about the government's rehabilitation efforts about the Brian Singh government's rehabilitation efforts this has raised a serious question why are the IDP is leaving their makeshift camps and taking to the streets uh, you know there must be definite reasons instead of looking into the reasons instead of listening to their grievances uh, the, the state government has unleashed the police force and the police force in Imphal uh, I mean they, they use the same amount of force uh, the, w from experience we are seeing that these policemen in Imphal use the same amount of force while dealing with the internally displaced people as well as dealing with insurgents or dealing with uh, militants and all so this is absolutely shocking I, I mean there is something serious questions are raised about the Manipur police's crowd control uh, approaches what is the crowd control approach of the Manipur police this is a serious question now and the journalist the journalist was assaulted the journalist uh, was assaulted for no rhyme or reason he was repeatedly flashing his identity card the, the reporter belonging to a local TV channel uh, was assaulted for no rhyme or reason he was kicked in the chest he could have been detained he could have been taken away he could have been grabbed and taken away what was the need to kick him on the chest so these are issues that the government will have to answer now now idps are protesting they're coming out of their makeshift camp they are marching towards the assembly obviously they want to say something they should have been listened to why were they allowed to come out of their camps why were they not barricaded uh, at some point as they were starting their march instead of doing that they were they were the, the police were firing live rounds the police were firing tear gas cells uh, and so on and so forth so this is a clear case of police high head in the priya right so was the internally displaced people are clearly not a happy lot displaced by the violence struggling for basic facilities they want to return home and hence the protest so should not the authorities listen to them instead of assaulting them absolutely absolutely this was a case that required a lot of em 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 empathy from the authorities this was uh, something this was a case where the authorities should have deputed magistrates they could have deputed senior political leaders to stop the IDPs along the way listen to their grievances and they want to go home now now they cannot obviously go home so easily because they have been displaced the IDPs who are in Imphal are are, are mates who have been displaced from places like Moray which is now a cookie uh, dominated area now they cannot obviously go back to Moray the situation is not con conducive at all in Manipur at this point in time so the, all the authorities needed was to listen to their grievances depute senior political leaders or senior officials uh, to the site from where they had started the march they could have been stopped along the way they could have been uh, uh, listened to so instead of doing that they've unleashed the police force which is something which is something which is totally unexpected in a democracy in a democracy the people have the right to come out on the streets and voice their protest and voice their grievances and here they are already a traumatized lot there these are the internally displaced people already traumatized already displaced from the hearts and homes already their children are suffering already they have their children's education has been disrupted their livelihood have been completely snapped so in this kind of a situation one has to understand that these are generally angry people these are generally uh, people who are filled with emotions so instead of doing that the brain Singh government has uh, demonstrated today once again that uh, they, they 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 believe in brute force to 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 to, to put a stop to the grievances, put a stop to the voice of the people. So that is what was once again demonstrated on the streets of Imphal today. Right, uh, Wasbir, thank you so much for all those details.